Welcome everybody to the New Hampshire International Speedway for the 20th race of the SCRL Classic Bush Series. The 59 is Zachary Fitzwater will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him will be the number 10, Scott Parsons, who is our points leader. Here's the rest of the qualifying lineup. All 42 cars are here. They're starting. And hopefully this should be a good race. Here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. The field is rolling off. Scott Parsons, the 10 car, has a 163 point lead over Roman Rehal. So the racing is very intense in all these classic series. However, when drivers was not replying, I had to kick a lot of people out. So the points lead kind of shrunk for drivers who have a shot of winning the championship. So if you join late mathematically, you do not have a shot of winning the championship. But you most likely don't care about the championship. You just want to win races. So, yes. 20th race of the season. We have had 19 different winners. Every single race, we have a new winner. I'm going to keep bringing that up. Because that is impressive. Ace car is in. And green flag. We're racing at New Hampshire. Fitzwater leads him into turn one. Scott Parsons goes way wide. And Fitzwater will keep his lead. Second is Noah Collins. No relation to Phil Collins, the singer. I hope not. Although that would be neat. And we got a car in the wall. Up. Oh. They maintain, though. Fitzwater will get five bonus points for his championship hopes. Like I said, Noah Collins is second. Third is Scott. Well, third is now Piper Ace. Fifth is. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, we got us a wreck. And oh, geez. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, we almost had a car go over. That was a 0-7. And that's shuttle. Ding Drinker's got some damage. Are we racing it back? No, we're not. 32. Alex Pedro's got a lot of damage. Zero. Holding glove. Got some. Oh, that car does. 30. Brian Fox. A lot of damage to the rear end of that car. Wow, that was... That was real. 59, uh, Zachary Fitzwater is your, is your race leader. Well, take a look at the caution. It's one of the bad things about running three wide at New Hampshire. You run out of room. 32, battling with the 0-1 and the 95, Don Miller. Run out of room. Miller hits the wall. And cars just start swerving to try and avoid. The 63, Abby Collins, hard impact to the inside wall. And the cars just start stacking that. Brian Fox, that's where he got his damage. Sebastian Torres got some. 32 goes back across the track. Treadle, he tries to avoid, but there's nowhere to go. And wham, hits the 32. And Treadle goes on his side. After a hit from the 86 of Rocco. Not a lot of drivers got damaged, but the ones who got damaged, they got big damage, like Treadle. And a 32. And 95. And that's our first caution of the day. We'll take you back now. And we are back. Got a couple of cars out of the race. The 32, the 07, the 95, and the 30. Zachary Fitzwater is first. Second is Noah Collins. Third is Piper Ace. <clears throat> Fourth is Scott Parsons. Fifth is Ben Braley. 
it's amazing. The front 10 drivers have never won in this series. I don't know what it is about the Bush series, but we have a new winner every single week. I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't mind and I don't care because that's what makes racing great, right? New winners. There's a the green flag. We're back to racing at New Hampshire. Of course, Fitzwater has won a race before, but not in this series. He leads him into turn one and into turn two. A little bit wide, but he's all right. It's amazing. Our points leader, Scott Parsons, he does not have a single win, and yet he is the points leader. Very consistent driver. Hoping to wrap up a championship. 99 scrapes the wall. He's all right. Oh, and we got a spin. Yes, we do. Oh, big wreck. Uh oh. Second in points, Roman Rehal. Are you racing it back? Yes, we are. It's water taking it nice and easy in the turn three. He doesn't have to race that hard. Scott Parsons is in the wall. That's all right. And the field raced it back. Yep. We got a car coming to pit road. That's Aureus. Our runner at Martinsville. And yeah. Zachary Fitzwater is your race leader. We'll take a look at the second caution. Let's see. The 48 of Grayson Ace. Racing with Chris Kyle and Matt Delio. Kyle hits the wall. Backs into Grayson. And Grayson blocks the track. Nine of TJ Dent. Gets some damage. Not a lot. And Grayson goes for a spin. That's where Roman Rehaw. He got spun out in the back. He's heading towards the inside wall, and he nails it. Also with the rear end, too. That's where Aureus got his damage. And we didn't really have that much of a wreck in the second caution. Let's see what happened to Roman Rehaul. Oh, he got spun by Nita HBK. I don't think you can blame her. I think they were just checking up for the cars wrecking in front. And Roman just got spun out. So he's going to lose a lot of spots. And some more ground on Scott Parsons. I'm going to take you back now. And we are back. No one else is out of the race. However, you see it right there. Adam Kirkland is blowing up. Big disappointment. He was in the top 10. Actually, no, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. He was in 13th, but he was blowing up. And his shot of winning two times this season is over. No one else is out of the race, as I've already said, but Aureus is one lap down, which means lap traffic. Isn't this great? Lab traffic. Looks like Adam Kirkland had a header problem. The front 10 have never won a race in this series. The, the people in 11th and 12th, and actually the one in 11th, has that's Eddie Bradley Jr. who won at Talladega. And where are we going next race? This is going to be fun. Daytona. Yes. There's a green flag. And drivers, go around Orius. That's good. Stay out of the way. Fitzwater got a good jump. And Orius is blocking the 10. Nope, now he's blocking the 18. Okay you, okay, you need to get off the damn track. You're not that fast. Fitzwater maintains his lead over Noah Collins. Got some cars bouncing off the wall. Oh, okay, we're good. Roman Rehaul, he's running back there in 36th spot. Oh, Noah Collins is trying to catch up to that 59 car.
Front three had broken away a little bit. And we completed yet another lap in the green here. Oh. Right when I say that, we have a wreck. Oh, this is a big one. 91's involved, 60's involved, 11, 20, 29, 17, 5, 8. We're racing it back. Here comes Noah Collins. No, not able to get around Fitzwater. Still trying, though. Piper's in the wall, and Fitzwater will lead him back to the caution. And we'll have 10 laps to go. So that means no lap down drivers. That's good. Whoa. Oh my god. Canyon Miller, a lot of damage on that 91 car. A lot of cars are damaged. Wow. Well, Fitzwater is your race leader. We'll take a look at the big one. Oh, sorry guys, I jinxed it. We had just gone a few laps without a caution and racing three wide again. Chris Kyle, the 33. Whoa. The 44. 26 got a little damage. That's all right. Chris Kyle goes for a spin. Big Jake got involved. Oh, that's where the 91 got hard impact in the 60. 54, a little bit of damage. The 8. 44 again, 29, 0, 17, Roman Rehaul, the 5, they just keep on wrecking in. And Sebastian Torres is the only driver to slam on the brakes and miss it. Let's see what Roman Rehaul saw. Second and points. All he sees is smoke. He tries to choose the right path, but the hole closes up. Wham! Hits the rear end of Ding Drinker. A lot of damage to that 17 car. A lot of damage to a lot of these cars, actually. Like Chris Kyle, Noodles Noodley, and the 91. And the 44. And everybody else. Let's take you back to the race now. About to take the green flag to restart this race. Got a couple more drivers out, as you can see on your screen right here. Chris Kyle's a lap down. The 11 and the 3 are both far, but they will not be in the way because it's less than 10 to go. Fitzwater is first. Second is Noah Collins. Third is Piper Ace. Fourth is Scott Parsons. Fifth is Ben Braley. If a caution comes out, we may have time for one more restart. Maybe. Pace car is in. We're back to racing at New Hampshire. And look at the cars. They got to go now. They have to go now. Ben Braley, he wants to get around that 10 car. Can't do it. At least not yet. Fitzwater is slow, isn't he? Oh no, Fitzwater the leader! Oh no. That means Noah Collins is your race leader now. Fitzwater dominated. He led 20 laps and he heads to pit road. He probably has a tire going now. That hands the lead to Noah Collins. She goes a little bit wide. Here comes Piper. Up to 18. Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Arca brakes. We're racing it back, too. I don't know if that ended the race or not. I hope not. Noah Collins will lead him to the caution. Oh, we almost had another wreck. I hope that did not end the race, but I think it did. Damn it. Oh, well, take a look. Alright, let's see what happened. Avery Pedro 
is fighting Aureus. Let me see. He's sliding up the track, and Aureus hits him. Hard impact to the safer barriers, and he flips over. Wow. Then the 66 hits him, then the 54, the 96. Oh my god. The 90. The 44. Robert Hilton has nowhere to go. Sebastian Torres, nowhere to go hard impact into the 54. The 29. Ding Drinker's involved again. Hmm. I might have to give out, give out a penalty. Aureus. A lap down, racing hard with the drivers in the top 10. I mean, can you really blame... Can I blame Aureus for this? I mean... Let's see. Avery was heading up the track. Hmm. Let's see. He went down a little bit. Hard impact. Oh, that's seven. Wow. I don't know. I think the SCRL officials are going to have to look at that really closely and determine if Aureus will get any penalties. I mean, you got to take... Damn. You got to take into consideration that he is a lap down and Avery is on the lead lap. And it's less than 10 to go. I think that three car will get a penalty. A pretty big penalty, actually. I hope that didn't end the race, but I think it did. Let's find out. 